Hello everyone, this is Mr. Katusha, and today I have another battle replay, so today is going to be at Lundy's Lane, which I don't usually play American maps, but um, it would be fun to do a kind of a War of 1812 scenario, though it's France and Italy versus three British faction factions, and one of them is the Peninsular uh, Campaign, which is not anywhere near America, but it's still fun. I do have a uh, 1812 scenario, so if you want to see more of these, um, I don't know, just comment or something, leave a like, whatever you want. Um, it would be fun to do, but I only have a few of them, so I'd have to go play some more battles. Um, but anyway, we have the Brits moving up here. We have Richard Sharp, the 95th Rifles, um, and the British 95th Rifles here. So we have a lot of rifles, and I am playing as the 1812 USA. Um, well, the, um, the British, but in America in 1812. So have Shawnee Scouting Party here. It's really cool what they did with the models because they have some Native American uh, models here and they have um, some tomahawks and they have uh, some rifles that they shoot from horseback. Now it looks like the French are, or the, the French from Italy, which is in Italy over there, they are advancing. One of the guys was yelling, that was kind of weird. Um, but they have some chassiers up here and they have more troops in the back, some cannons. But I have a lot of irregulars, or, um, I don't know, but uh, Tecumseh's in the battle here, really cool. He has a tomahawk, ready, he's standing right next to the other guy, sniffing him. Um, he's got the tomahawk though, which is really cool, it looks, well, his face doesn't look like Tecumseh, but what he's wearing is pretty close actually. He's got like his hand around his hip, it's pretty funny. So they can fire in all rings, so these guys will be really good on this flank here, holding off. No, not so much against Cav, because they can't form a square. But the line infantry here, which is what I'm really worried about, is pushing up, and we should be able to hold them off just long enough for my allies to come. But I'm already expecting to take very heavy losses here, because I'm holding down this area. Now we get the Creek Warriors, the Red Stacks. Now they are a very, very good unit. They will hold out very long. I believe their melee is like, maybe twice as good as the uh, line infantry over there so they will hold out definitely pretty long now these guys here c9 they're a very quick unit um very light very good they're gonna push around the flank and they can shoot again like i said so it's gonna be really useful here now it looks like we have some hussars moving up on the flank now they can retreat but i do get a little lazy with my micro but that's okay we have some troops moving up here some lights. Um, I believe I have light dragons. I only have a few cav. I was really focusing on my irregulars, and these units were super expensive, especially my general here. Actually, can form a square, which is pretty cool. But I don't believe the other two units can. Well, this one's in a house, so that doesn't really matter. But the Yerkoi warriors over here, who are hidden in the bushes, which is pretty cool. It's just pretty um, amazing what they did with the uh, textures here. So it's pretty cool. My Shawnee scouting party, um, I'm gonna retreat them here. They have some Hussars moving up, but um, they don't worry me too much. We do have some supporting cav coming around, or some of mine. Um, a lot of our cav took this flank because Italy has a lot of good cav as well. I believe my uh, Light Dragoons here um, probably can't do much. I mean, they look cool, but I guess everyone kind of does. Some of the uh, C7 cav here, C6. So. Their cav is, um, the Italian cav is better than mine. Uh, UK doesn't have good cav kind of to start out with, but in America all their stuff is kind of like watered down. But the natives do help a lot, as they did in history as well. So getting a lot of good volleys here. It comes to standing in the front. So we're killing lots of the troops, or at least some of them here, a lot more than they're going to kill of us. And Tecumseh has a really long range that, uh, unit there. Now he's got some uh, guard grenadiers here. I believe these are some of his best troops in the center here. We're just going to hold them in reserve. That's pretty smart. Moving up this front line. Now this is one chunky line. This is a very big chunky line here. As well as the artillery. That, that's really not good because I don't really have any good artillery anywhere near because a lot of my Native Americans here are holding actually Lundy's Lane right here. Which, in reality, I believe the British were on this northern side here, and the uh, Americans approached from the south, but I mean, it's already not super historical, and this wasn't meant to be a uh, scenario. Now, over here, I did get lazy with my micro. My light cab is going to get swallowed up there by that unit of uh, cavalry there. I'm going to retreat uh, Tecumseh there. 
Because look at this line here. This French line is approaching on us fast. Um, and it's not looking good, so we're going to have to be careful there. Now, I do have my Shawnee scouting party. They did take a casualty, I think. I think he got hit by a cannon. So I'm going to retreat them behind this uh, small bluff here. Got some Yurikoi warriors still holding out. Haven't fired yet. They're hidden. My Creek warriors laying down some fire. They're going to go into the building here, but my boys hold out. Now these red sticks are really good. I believe the Creek Warriors are from like southeastern America, so it's kind of funny that they got all the way up here, but they're useful, so it doesn't matter. Comes is still falling back again. Um, now he's pushing in some rifles. Actually, he's pushing them really close up to my house to support my lines here. I'm going to get a little bit of friendly fire, possibly. Ooh, some of, uh, actually, no. Okay, no. Never mind. My scouting party, I thought they were, looks like, I'm confused. So my, uh, Shawnee scouting party, again, one of my favorite units of CAD, and probably the whole mod, is going from, so, f going for some artillery here. I'm gonna try to retreat. I do do, uh, I do a lot of damage, actually, on these cannons here. Uh, my Yerkoi warriors come out, actually getting hit in the, uh, in the back by the 72nd. They break. So you break a unit of cap there, retreat my Shawnee scouting party. Um, Italy and France are not too happy right now. I did a lot of damage on that one charge there. I mean, they still have their cannon, but they can only probably operate one. Maybe they got both, but still, they're going to be unmaneuverable for the rest of the battle. Now I get my Sha Shawnee scouting party right there. My Yurikoi warriors, only have 44 to begin with, lost about half their unit, so... Pretty tough starting out, but my men are still holding extremely well. 72nd line broke, so we've already broken two units of line. I believe they're both 72nd. One in the house. Look how many casualties the French have already taken. It's only been about a few minutes into the battle. My uh, Native Americans, though they were really expensive, they are paying off. Now they do have some uh, carabiners pushing in here, which is not fun. I believe Tecumseh can form a square, so I form... Actually, it's a pike formation, it looks like. A pike square. So, you will see later in this battle that the Creek Warriors do a ton of damage. They only lost three men, and they broke a whole unit of French line. That is pretty... pretty good. These are a round of applause. So, they do have their cannons back here. They have not opened yet, um, up yet. Which makes sense, because there's not much they can hit except for this house. Now over here, it looks like the French came in, but the uh, the, Brit uh, the British cavalry pushed in some. Uh, so line cavalry, they should have taken care of the carabiners. They've just lost carabiners. Now they're charging in more cavalry. Not very um, unified here. There's still more cav in the back, not pushing up. The uh, Italian cav obviously broke there, or they're about to break. And I still have my Shawnee scouting party, so it's kind of like we're laughing in their face almost with uh, these troops here. Now we have some Quebec light dragoons. I've already lost a unit of cap. I'm going to hold them on the flank just to uh, kind of flex their muscles at them. Maybe push them away a little bit. Now it looks like they're getting ready for a charge, but at this point I wouldn't charge until there's a weaker uh, point. Our troops are still setting up. I do have my full online's over here moving up. Some Royal Americans, which is kind of funny. Um, fighting here. Traitors. So Tecumseh is still putting off a lot of fire. I want to see how many kills he gets in that, because that would be um, pretty interesting, as well as the Creek Warriors, the red sticks there. His Grenadiers are waiting for a charge, but I don't know. Do they stand a chance against my red sticks? I guess we'll see here, because I personally don't remember. Now, I do outnumber his Guard Grenadiers, I think, wait, 180. So yeah, I do outnumber them, and my troops I think are better in melee, which is pretty impressive. Or might be better. I don't know, I say a lot of wrong stuff all the time, so I don't know. Tecumseh getting ready to fire again. Which technically his unit, because he doesn't have a gun, but whatever. Now, some British light dragoons are charging in here. What is, what is this? Um... Oh, I have some of my Yurkoi warriors. They, I guess they survived, holding on the flank here, near this cool little patch of trees. It's kind of like some weird OCD I have whenever I'm fighting a battle. They have to be in a cool position with a nice, very straight line. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Now there's this little patch of trees here, which will be semi-important later. Um, but this battle already starting off is 
going crazy. I've lost some Dragoons there, that's not good. I want to keep my scouting party alive because um, not only are they a cool unit, but they're a pretty good unit and can scout pretty well. No burden over here. He's already doing some damage to this flank, so if he can push through these guys, then he will definitely help out the battle. Because our center line right here, right now, isn't looking good, and I believe Tecumseh is fighting off some grenadiers here. I want to see Tecumseh kill someone. I think he just got someone. There he is. So, it looks like we both break, um, taking a lot of casualties there. But we have broken one of their uh, best grenadier units there. Which, wait, I think he sent in. So he sent one of his his guard grenadier units around to take out my general, which is kind of important, I guess. But if he saved both of them to attack the house, because now he doesn't really have much of a chance. I mean, unless he keeps sending units, but they can hold off there all day and keep doing damage to the cannons and the uh, cav and everything. It's just getting um, picked off by these uh, soldiers. So it comes and makes it back. We have Richard Sharp and his uh, rifles, his 95th rifles over here. This is really cool. I like that. It's kind of like one big unit in two different parts, like two different companies or something. We have the Royal Marines here. Definitely a cool unit with the top hats, the West Indies. A cheaper unit, but they, um, I believe they're cheaper, some of them. I don't think they can form a square, but definitely a good unit in line. See, there was a little shot there from the uh, Shawnee Scouting Party. Now, the only problem is they kind of suck in uh, melee, and they're sending in a bunch of troops. I try to get them out of there, and it looks like their morale is coming back, which is pretty impressive. Um, I have my troops, some Quebec Fencibles here. So, the only problem with fighting with the 1912 army is that you'll have a lot of units, but a lot of them kind of suck. Except for the Native Americans, but they're expensive. So we have some fencibles. Most of my um, army, I believe, are just fencibles here. Iroquois warriors. Um, we do have uh, some good units, and we have more fencibles in the back. Some colonial marines. That is definitely cool. Some colonial troops there. More colonial marines. So I'm sending my other troops to the flank. Italy is sending them as well. So it looks like a 9 or a 7 on a 7 here. And the 10s are fighting it out. Now, Britain over here is doing extremely well against the uh, the French. He has broken quite a lot of units. Now, I'm not focusing on this part so much because a lot of juicy stuff is going on right here in the center. But I will watch it because I like to... Any player who is playing, I don't want to shame them or anything, so it's always good to watch what's going on. So the French over here are um, trying to do their best, but I don't think they had enough men from the beginning to hold off. And um, Britain excels in line battle, so... Here we go. Um, again, another unit of 7th line, uh, or 72nd line, is trying to take on some Creek Warriors. Not going to go well for them. There's my boys. They're coming in. Oh, he pulled out a Tomahawk. Knocked back like a bunch of guys. So, still holding off in this house. Um, it's not looking good. We've only lost, what, we had 187 last time, so we only lost about 11 men. And they've lost like almost half their unit, so we're we're doing a great. Oh my god, we're doing a good job in that building. Sometimes when I talk, I feel weird. So we have some a, a three pounder, another three pounder over here. So get up close, but from far away they don't do a ton of damage. And I mean, in a long range fight, a third pound, uh, a three pounder, is probably gonna lose. Now he still has his eight pounder all the way back here. I don't really know what he wants to do with this, because this hill here is a, like one of the best positions I've ever fought on. A great position here. How are they eager? These French are very determined. You're obviously losing horribly to Native Americans, and uh, probably going to get killed off and run away. So, very determined though. More French uh, hussars retreating here, so doing a good- actually. Oh, I thought those were um, curious for a moment. They looked like they had some armor on. But we have something- we have something going on here. What is that shouting? Oh, so France! Some 23rd Dragoons. Now, I believe the cab from Britain has less men in it, but all three of them together are definitely going to do a lot of damage to these uh, poor troops over here. 
Britain has two units over here, but they should be able to take out some of these units. Jeez, so Britain doing a good job. France should pull back because he can't form a good line here. He's taking a lot of damage, and Britain's just going to slowly wither away his units here. So he should retreat back to his cannons, I'd say, near this river. It'd be good. A counter against Cav, it'll slow them down on the river and just hold a position here. Right now, it's not looking good. It looks like I... Uh, my Quebec Fencibles retreated. They took too much damage from the canister there. The camera got all weird. So yeah, taking quite quite a lot of carnage there. Now stupid Italy sends in a unit of uh, Dragoons that are the first Dragoons. Now, it's not going too well for me now. I'm going to retreat back, but it's not going too uh, good. Now, here comes the Peninsular Coalition here with four units and the Brunswickers, some of my favorite troops. Pushing four units over, they will help me, but I'm going to have to fall back because they cannot hold up against Italy. No offense to 1812 USA, but again, they suck, except for their Native American uh, allies. Now, it looks like the saucy greens are coming in. Wait, are they saucy greens? They're wearing red. Anyway, um, they're pushing in some troops with the red sticks. Unless by green, they mean that they're uh, not, not hardened by warfare. But anyway, that doesn't... Anyway, that's weird. I have some uh, some help here from the 95th Rifles. Getting some shots off pretty far away. Um, even for Napoleonic times. That's pretty far shooting, but getting some damage here nonetheless. Now the cannons have to re-limber because we're falling back. Italy mar mass charges my flank here, which totally sucks. Um, probably won't come back from this. But, wow, look over here. We got this fancy little... Uh, artillery uh, emplacement getting great juicy shots right here into this huge unit into this huge blob of uh, Italian troops here might even be aiming for the general looks like some cannonball scratches here so they're gonna fall back my ally is gonna form my flank here and there's cav moving in now no offense they are a little late but they have come which is nice come to my aid. And storm this here. Actually, these aren't mine, but they're on the flank. Britain is pushing hard into the reserve, I guess, quote-unquote, over here. The French reserve. Most of their better units here. Now, they have a lot of artillery, but they haven't used it, which is kind of a waste, but we'll see. Maybe they do something with it. Again, I don't really remember the battle. Um, because I haven't really uploaded anything in a long time. I'm so sorry about that, about not uploading, but I'm sure you guys are fine, you know, <laughs> whatever. Some Canadian Voltiers over here. Now, a really sexy unit. I think I was playing a scenario. I think I was playing this battle, and I had some Canadian Voltiers, so I was like, I should probably bring those guys again. Showing even more evidence that I have OCD when it comes to, uh army competitions and good looking units and stuff now it looks like Italy's already shooting into the ranks here which is not a good start for us but we're gonna hold off again the Royal Americans still in this really really thick how do you even walk through this how do you even know which direction you're going how do you even know how to shoot through this your bullet would get stuck probably not but it, it could okay anything can happen some West Indies second here holding the uh, center with the Royal Marines. Mambaras. Looks like they're going to shoot pretty soon. Oh my. I just went through the ground. They have their top hats here. Looks like some of my troops came back from uh, retreating. Some Colonial Marines here. With even more top hats. So fashionable Britain. Now he's shooting off more shots. And I believe he's not getting friendly fire. So a great positioning here by... Uh, uh, Britain actually causing their flank to fall back here. Now, most of my units are coming back, so it wasn't a total loss there. But definitely lose, uh, lost, not lose, that's not a word. I lost more men than I wanted to. Now we're pushing them on their flank, so it's kind of a uh, flop in here. Looks like the Cheshires are about to get taken out by some of the British 12th Light, so... Taking out a lot of good troops there. Britain is still holding this area. Looks like the French have moved more troops in, but they have fully routed that army over there. I'm pretty sure. The 1811 uh, France. So moving over more troops. Now, this is a really close battle. When I played this, I was like, this is close. There's a lot of times where it's swaying back and forth. 
Looks like some Kingstrom Legion is going for the cannons here. Uh, taking a lot of point blank fire there. They couldn't make it through, but they did some damage at least to some of the units. Now they're all uh, messed up. I was about to say huddled up, but that doesn't make any sense. So they're all messed up here. They're lining to reform. So we could push forward, but we're going to stay back. I'm moving my troops in a column formation so they go a little bit faster over here. He's moved up a cannon battery. I got some Quebec fences. I believe this shooting calms down a little bit after and the fighting over here gets crazy. Now it looks like, here we go, the Grenadier is actually doing some good work here, charging into the flank of the British. Now they're holding pretty well for getting hit in the flank, um, but we'll see how long they hold. So France is coming around the flank. Now Britain's got a, well, I guess we're all Britain, but this Britain down here, well, I think they are the same Britain. Anyway, they're going to have to sweep around with the rest of their troops and save the other part of their army's butt, basically. There's some troops over here, not really doing too much, but again, my Red Creek boys, or my Red Stick boys, I just combined their name, um, are going to do some good damage later on. Now, it looks like some of these troops here, wow, wait, I think his, uh, his troops here is this Pontius Pilate's uh, bodyguards there. Um, did a really good job of fending off this uh, attack. So Italy's like, we've taken too much casualties, so they're gonna fall back. Some Spanish cavalry here, sweeping up the rest of the uh, troops retreating. Some Portuguese, uh, said that we were like Portuguese. Some of those Portuguese, uh, the urban dragoons. A good unit, um, pretty good standard unit. Um, this unit of cav is also very good. Taking up the flank here. Now, Italy is is broken. They're broken off. They've lost a lot of troops, but that doesn't mean the battle's quite over because okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. Britain over here is outnumbering France, which doesn't mean they could hold on, but by now it's looking pretty uh, sad for them. They've lost a lot of units, and most of their good units. The dream of wanting to take this house is now uh, long gone. So Italy's starting to lose their cannons. They're losing their their best infantry here, which actually they have a lot of heavier infantry. I'm pretty sure yeah. They have a lot of um, elites here. And again, too many elites is never great, unless it's versus another army of elites. So, Italy here taking a lot of uh, morale loss, morale damage, and unit damage from these kins here. Doing a lot of damage. Some four pounders. Standing next to my fellow uh, Spanish friends, I guess. My, my British Spanish friends. Charging into battle. Richard Sharp is going to battle. Sean Bean getting in there. 95th Rifles. Sean Bean. Still. So, yeah, Italy is crippled. They are crippled now. More of my troops are pushing up. I'm um, going to help out with this flank. I'll speed it up a little bit because not much is going on. Actually, wait. Britain is advancing now. This battle I thought would be a little longer, but I guess not. Some French cap going around the flank here, some of the 9th uh, Hussars. <laughs> what was that? That was like the weirdest yell I've ever heard. It's like, Whoa. Anyway, my Creek boys are still up in there. The grasshoppers in front of the house firing down some shots. Hopefully no friendly fire, but... My uh, Creek warriors are high on adrenaline here. Just want to shoot everything. My Voltiers, my Canadian Voltiers, just charging in as general. Italy has lost all hope now. Once you're sending in your general, you know the battle's over. But still a great job by Italy early game, but eventually their momentum drained out. More uh, British support came over. Same with the French over here. Um, we're doing pretty good in the beginning. Though over there on the flank, it um, was pretty even, but Britain just had bigger, fatter units. Um, really, this battle is, I mean, it had a little bit of cabinet, but the main focus was infantry, which I always love. 
uh, line infantry is my favorite. I think we just killed, I think my Canadian Voltiers just killed a unit of, uh, I think we just killed a general. Now, a little sloppy on the uh, Hussars part. Um, his King German Legion light foot. Um, he was trying to go for some 95th rifles, which I mean, why not? But, I don't know. Again, Britain has really good counters to cav, except for their own cav, of course, which is kind of doo doo. But, again, trying to use, ta um, well, using tactics is always good, I guess, but, um, sending one unit on the flank, there's not really much they can do at this point, it's kind of too late. But, still, you can try. Get their, get their artillery here. Oh no. Not the point blank fire. Oh, that would have been kind of cool. But also suck for our troops. But are they gonna fire? It's gonna be brutal. Oh no. Uh, that would have been cool. Just at least one shot, but whatever. Some troops over here firing at the lights on the hill. Looks like their cannons are malfunctioning. I'm sending in my Canadian Voltiers, and Richard Sharp is coming over as well. Thirsty for some blood. So, taking out some of the, uh, or some of, uh, that doesn't make any sense. We're taking out the, uh, cannons here. He's going to retreat his troops, losing a lot of morale here throughout the lane, uh, throughout the ranks. It's not sausage, we're not talking about links. So, the 95th, still holding strong, looks like one unit of, uh, Italian infantry is going to march forward here. The beautiful Brunswick troops here. Really nice. And um, the, these two units right here really did good um, supporting my army in the battle. So, mass charge here. Oof, that's loud. British still holding a pretty strong line here. The French try to do a charge, so countering our charge over there, but it did not go well at all. That was very sad. That was the saddest thing you've ever seen. Now they did break one unit of 10th foot, but they lost like their general and their most elite unit. They lost a lot. So poor France there. Now good uh, effort. But you lost. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Anyway, that's the end of the battle. Um, thank you for watching. Well, I shouldn't say that yet. Let's see how many kill. Look, Tecumseh with the most kills, 121. Creek Warriors got 89. So there, there it is. Price pays off. Good job, natives. Um, my Canadian Voltiers is well doing a good job. Um, Fencible is actually doing pretty well. My artillery, I didn't even remember having artillery. Oh, wait, maybe some of that artillery that was firing was mine, I guess. My Shining Scouting Party didn't get a lot of kills, but they did a good job being a scouting party. My Cav did pretty horrible, so that's bad. So, um, thanks to everyone who played. Good job, Conan, on getting a lot of kills. Now I got the least amount of kills, but I did hold strong throughout the battle. Um, but anyway, thanks uh, for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.